Hey guys, Todd Steve Potter here with Steve Potter Construction Services. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Wednesday. And we're finishing up for the day, but I wanted to show y'all oh, that I've got sheetrock blood on my face. I haven't looked in the mirror all day. Anyway, enough about that. It's a looking. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff done. Nothing's completed. So let's take a look. Um, we've got the paint in this section. We've been, we've got it painted. It's not touched up. The white has not been done yet. See, the white hasn't been done. Um, in here, this is the, the room that won't, the never ending work room, seems like. Okay, we had to do some skim coating here and there, wherever we didn't feel. It was good enough. We probably could have let it slide. Any other average contractor just would have said, screw it and paint it. Anyway, it's not the way we roll. So, just wanted to show you this. We're gonna go back, shoot it with texture, and keep it going. We did end up pulling up this wood flooring. Uh, there was wood flooring in here. So we pulled up the wood flooring because there's just a, there was too big of a gap. I mean, a rise in the difference of the flooring height between the tile and the wood floor. Anyway, um, we got this painted, nice and neat. Still, it needs to be touched up. I just pulled the plastic, so we haven't fine tooth. We've gone over anything with a fine tooth comb yet, but it's coming together. There's a little bit of tape right here. All oh, this is getting painted. So there's paint everywhere, a little bit of cleanup to do. Look, you know, the first one to see this paint being, tape being pulled. It's a little bit messy. So we got that, so we got this painted. We gotta do all the paint in here. Garage is just being a perfect little work area. Got a bunch of materials out here before I go on to the rest of the job site. Got some baseboards, got some wainscoting, got the hardy backer for the showers. A little piece of sheetrock there, I need more. Ceiling fans. Let me do a zoom in on this so y'all can take a look at it if you're at home looking that is the hugger ceiling fan and this one i believe is going to be in black there's a black finish and there is a brush nickel finish with brown black and brown anyhow i got those taken care of today uh, what else did we do? We got more paint, tons of paint. Okay, sorry, let's continue going. Cabinets in the kitchen, kitchen cabinets are gonna be shot tomorrow morning. Um, got a couple little areas. This, depending on the lighting, you can see some little spots in the ceiling from where just the older sheetrock reacted to the texture and so on and so forth. But. So we got a couple, little bit of fine tuning to do. The paneling has all been painted. Um, got another sheetrock repair right here that we gotta do. But the paneling and everything has all been painted. Uh, all of this color is the white metal, I believe. White steel, white metal is what it's called. Keep on going down the hallway. Once again, the white hasn't been done. I haven't done the switches. Go to the bathroom, which is, this probably is gonna be the biggest dramatic thing. Um, once again, not done, as you can tell. The shadows of my camera are making different things happen. Touch-ups up there, I just sprayed this a little bit ago. I didn't even have time for it to hardly dry. Um, that's it. 
Here's the shower once again. As I was saying, I got the uh, I got the shower fixtures today. I'll go get a picture of those. I'm gonna redo the plumbing on that. Had to fix the the ceiling, redo some electrical, and there you go. Uh, raised the ceiling 14 inches and opened up the door from that point to that point. About 15 inches wider than what it was. Gotta do some sheetrock right here. And then we got this room, which is the master. Once again, we gotta shoot some texture in the ceiling. Look, that's the old color. How oh, nice. Compared to the new color. That's a good visual if I've ever seen one. Yeah, it's gonna be sharp. It's gonna be sharp. We're gonna get this one painted tonight. Matter of fact, get this painted, and we'll be good to go. Um, let's go upstairs. Take a look and see what we got going on upstairs. Oh, so I bought the trim for the stairs. We're gonna be doing that. We're building a new stair rail, a handrail for the stairs. I haven't been up here all day long. Anthony and his son have been here. So let's go and see what we got. This, there, now my flash is on. It's crazy, I don't know why it wasn't even working. Okay. All right, well, the paint has, the trim has been done in here which is great. Still got a little bit of, no, I guess it, they did the paint in here, there's a touch touch in here too. Nice. Next we're gonna be painting the metal on the, we still got, we got that shot with texture. Okay, this is the hallway. Just let you know, a little bird's eye view. Okay, we got a little, another repair right here. Looks good. The trim did a good job on. In here, I don't know what he's done. Um, let's see. Scrape through the ceiling and shot some light texture, it appears. And he just faded it in on the walls. Nothing big. He textured the ceiling. We're just gonna paint that tomorrow. And then come in here and paint this too. Sheetrock repairs. A little bit of texture. I think he needs to spray some more. Okay. And then, look. Everywhere I look, there's little textures. We're picking everything apart. This looks great though. Um, looks very nice. This is upstairs, middle bedroom, I guess. Got Anthony cutting all this in, so it's a nice clean look. Not a bad looking. Once he pulls that tape, it's gonna be great. So, we got everything going on. And much, much more. Okay, another sheet wrap repair. Paint. You gotta paint the closet. But that, it just looks so nice. If you look at the contrast, this house is gonna be totally, totally different when I'm done, when we're done. Got all the painted board rail in here. And you've gotta paint the closet doors. Still, gotta paint those. Got the um, closet painted, not the, not the, uh, Shelves, I guess, yeah, pal. This is kind of rough. This kind of stuff. We were gonna you have to do a lot of work up in, in these attics. They're beat up completely bad. We're gonna have to make a judgment call on that. Time is of the essence. Okay, so as you can tell, let me see if I can get a little tighter. That's as small as I can get it. So this will maybe help you. Get an idea of how clean and crisp the room is looking. It looks nice and neat. Um, 
Closet even got painted. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these doors. That's where I was gonna consider doing a mechanical closet doors. I think I'm just gonna put some new molding on there and call it a day. So, well, that's about it, guys. You gotta paint all up in here. We gotta paint this whole laundry. I mean, the whole hallway upstairs here. And see where it's spotted right there? It's because the new texture totally sucked up this paint at $150 for five gallons. It's crazy. But the new color is turning out nice. And yes, believe it or not, that accent, that wall right there is the same colors. Those colors are the same. It's just a different angle and I love it because it makes this whole room look like different rooms with different colors. So, here's my beautiful scaffolding that saved the day. Anyhow, I'm heading home. Andrew's finishing up a couple of things. Anthony took off for the day. I'm not falling. I'm trying not to fall down those stairs. It's a fun job so far. Got a couple more jobs knocking on my calendar door, trying to get things done. So, anyways, guys, I'm out of here and I will look forward to talking to y'all soon. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Have a great night. Goodbye.